Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore Snap to Linux Mint 20. So, to start off, you're going to want to open up a terminal window. Now, Linux Mint 20 has a certain file, and that file is called nosnap.pref. So, this file is located in the preference D folder, so to start off, we need to go cd Etsy apt preferences D. Inside here you can see no snap pref. Now we're going to make a backup and this is covered in the tutorial but this is what the backup file is so if you need to learn how to make a backup you want to restore this at a later time just follow the the uh, article in the description but from here we can do sudo rm no snap dot pref. Now, if you take a look at the backup file, when you see what this does is it tells the Ubuntu backend for Linux Mint or apt or whatever to make this unavailable and, you know, basically they want snaps to be unavailable because they don't want their users installing snaps because the Chromium package, if you install with apt, it will automatically install via snap. Personally, I think this is a bit of a childish overreaction, but that's just my opinion. And I think that, you know, yeah, don't install snaps by default, but don't make it impossible for people to install. Because now we have to go over how to delete configuration files when, you know, there are a lot of good snaps out there. And, uh, you know, if you want to use them, you have to do this. So if, sadly, if you're using Linux Mint 20, this is what you got to do. So from here, what we can do is uh, we've got the preference file removed. We can run the apt install snapd command. Now, once we do that, it's going to download the package that we previously weren't able to install, and that's because the preference file was blocking you from doing that. <clears throat> so this will take a couple of seconds. All it's going to do is download the snapd setup and configure it with systemd, it, you know. The thing is, is that once you download and install snapd, you actually aren't able to use it yet because you need to download the core snap and all of these other snaps that aren't set up by default because you haven't used snaps on here before. As you can see, it's setting up all of these different services and all of these different things. So it's going to take a second. So once everything is set up, you can install any snap you want. And we're going to do Discord because I use Discord a lot. So sudo snap install Discord. Now, unlike a system that already has all of the, the core snap set up, the Linux Mint uh, snap system is going to grab snapd, the snapd core uh, snap. It's going to grab all of these different things because Discord needs them to interact with. So it's going to take a couple of minutes. So once all the required snaps are grabbed and set up, it's going to grab your app, in this case Discord, and it will download and install. And from here, <clears throat> we just got to wait for it to set it up and we can launch it and get going with our favorite snaps. It's going to mount it, like I said, it'll download some things and it needs and it will set everything up. Okay, once all of that's taken care of, we can look for our app and it should be, it should show up here. Sometimes the snaps don't show up right away, which is kind of weird. <clears throat> but if we look at snap list, we can see we've got the Discord app installed. And you can go through and you can install as many apps on Linux Mint 20 as you want with the Snap system. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're using Mint 20 and you like using Snaps, this is how you have to get it going, sadly. But it does work, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.